Christians kidnapped by ISIS. Tonight we're learning many more were seized in northeastern Syria than originally thought, and their lives may soon be publicly threatened. And tonight in Modesto, one family is praying for the safe release of their loved ones who are right now believed to be in the hands of ISIS. We just pray every day, every minute, every second, too. We just want to hear from them that okay. And tonight, activists are saying that more than 150 people were kidnapped by that radical terrorist group. And tonight, a local family worried the capture could be harmed. The captures could be harmed. KCRA3's Linda Muma talked with the Modesto couple, anxious to hear about their family's whereabouts. We pray. We pray all yeah. the time. That is all Modesto residents Sharla and Ramel David say they can do as they wait for word from 12 members of their family believed to have been captured by the Islamic State in Syria on Monday. They came at 4 in the morning, they attacked them, so and they took them away. Among those captured were Sharla's brother, a 59 year old Assyrian Christian who left his job as a car salesman in Modesto two years ago in hopes of bringing his son and family back to America. Instead, he, his son, his son's wife, and the couple's two children were among dozens of people ripped from their homes in Syria's Hasaka province. So, what we've heard is like it was like a sea of black uniforms marching through all the villages, burning down the churches. Desecrating the crosses and wrecking havoc. David says those who could flee did, including a small group who contacted Charlotte's sister in Modesto to let her know her husband and son were taken into the mountains while her daughter in law and grandchildren remained in the village under armed guard. Just my biggest concern, I just want them to be safe. Not to be hurt. The couple doesn't want to reveal their family members' identities out of concern they could be killed. They've said that if anybody posts any pictures of anybody or says anything, you know, derogatory about their organization, their affiliation, that they will single them out. Single them out because of their Christian faith in an increasingly Muslim state. Well, I think obviously the most difficult part is fearing the worst. Case scenario of what we've witnessed and seen before on newsreels. In Modesto, Linda Muma, KCRA 3 News. The Islamic State group has a history of killing captives, including foreign journalists and Syrian soldiers. But some believe the extremists could use the Assyrian hostages to try to arrange a prisoner swap with Kurdish militias. It's battling in northeastern Syria.